welcome or welcome back on any help at C-square. In this example, we need to find the range of possible value for the variable x. You notice we have uh, expression here that contains x. And for that reason, I'm going to use the hinge theorem, which says if two sides of one triangle are congruent to two sides of another triangle. So let's take a look in this picture. We notice Mn is congruent with an R. Also, we notice Tn is congruent to an S. So basically, the first part of the hinge theorem is accomplished. And then what, does, what the hinge theorem says, included angles are not congruent. Yes, included angle 36 and 38, they are not congruent. Then the longer third side is opposite the larger included angle. So that means this side here, 2x plus 24, right, BRS, needs to be larger than this side because 38 is uh, greater than 36. So this is going to be the inequality 2x plus 24 greater than 3x plus 7. So this inequality will allow us to find something about x. I'm going to subtract 2x first. And I have 24 greater than 3x. Oh, I'm sorry, just x plus 7. x plus 7. And subtract 7. And we have x less than 17. So that is one thing that we need to be aware of. x needs to be less than 17. That means uh, this condition is accomplished. This angle is larger than 36. Uh, but then we have one more. This side here, which is the shortest, needs to be greater than 0. Other than that, we do not have... Uh, triangles, right? And again, this is the shortest side, so that's the reason I'm going to write this inequality. 3x plus 7 greater than uh, 0, and I'm going to solve it. I'm going to subtract 7 on both sides, and I have 3x greater than negative 7 divided by 3, and we notice x has to be greater than negative 7 thirds. The only thing I'm going to do after that, I'm going to combine this inequality with this inequality, these two, and I'm going to put them together. And look at here, I'm going to say negative 7 thirds less than x. That goes with this inequality, right? And then x less than 17, that goes with this one. Okay, so x has to be between negative 7 thirds and 17 in order to have this situation you see in the diagram. If you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C-squared for more help. Thank you.